This is an R tutorial. Got two minutes? Learn some statistical programming in R. It's easy, free, and fun. This tutorial, how to use the mod modulus function in R. The modulus function is really just a mathematical operator, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Surely you've used all four of those mathematical operators in different points in your life. Now it's time to learn and use one more. The modulus operator is the remainder operator. In R, it's used like this. 9 modulus 3 returns 0, because 9 is perfectly divisible by 3. 10 modulus 3 returns 1, because when you divide 10 by 3, you get a remainder of 1. But wait, how does R calculate it? Surely every time you're asking R for the modulus of two numbers, it's not going over to the Wizard of Oz and saying, what's your opinion on the answer? It has to be doing something on its own, right? Well, here's what it does. It divides the first number by the second. Then it looks at what's after the decimal point. 9 divided by 3 has nothing after the decimal point, so there's no remainder, and the 9 modulus 3 therefore returns 0. But 10 modulus 3 does have stuff after the decimal point. What's What does it have? Point three 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 three. Wow, I bet you could say that forever. All right, so what do we do now? Well, it has to capture the point three 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 stuff somehow. How do you do that? We could subtract this result from the floor function of the same quotient. Watch, 10 divided by 3 gives 3.333. But the floor of 10 divided by 3 just gives 3, so the floor function returns the largest integer less than or equal to the number given. So 3.333 would give 3, 3.666 would give 3. If you're confused by the floor function, check out the tutorial titled How to Round a Number in R, Round, Floor, Ceiling, even Excel Round, for more details. Now subtract that integer from the original result, and you get the remainder displays it, displayed it as a decimal. But the modulus operator returns the remainder displayed it as a whole number, so you just have to multiply the whole thing by the divisor, which in this case was 3. See that same result. Let's make the equation fully flexible. There's our numerator and our denominator. Put them into the equation, and hey, if I make them 107 and then run the modulus of 107, I get the same result. This has been a work of...